What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another daily video here from 88 Rotors Off-Road. We're going to take you into a day here at 88 Rotors lifting this 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. This guy's going to ditch his factory Fox TRD Pro suspension for a new set of Kings and some Camberg Tubular Uniball upper control arms. To achieve a lift in the rear, we're going with some Old Man Emu 895E lift springs. The owner of this one likes the original factory TRD Pro wheels, so we're just going to upsize it to a 285-70-17. And to maximize the clearance under the front wheel well, we will be doing a body mount chop on this one. Do you have a 4Runner yourself and want to get some work done? Please reach out to us, call us anytime, or send us an email over to sales at 88rotors.com. We are located in the city of South Del Monte, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. As soon as the vehicle is brought up on the lift, our techs immediately remove all four wheels and tires. Let's take a peek underneath right here to check out the factory TRD Pro Fox suspension that we're about to ditch. There's always been a lot of debate for the TRD Pros. Some people say it's a waste to buy a TRD Pro and ditch a suspension. You pay that much more for it and then end up dropping it. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Please note that any views or opinions presented in this video and all of our videos are solely for myself and do not necessarily represent those of the company. Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I purchased a Tundra TRD Pro myself and ditched the suspension for some Kings as well. Ultimately, it's your car or truck and you can do anything you want to it if you can. Drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Our tech is seen here adjusting the front coilovers to about 3 inches of lift height. And here's the unboxing of the rear King shocks that we're about to mount up on the vehicle. Let's take a peek underneath so you can see the body mount chop that we already performed. It's already been chopped off and that's the block off plate already tack welded on. Next, we're gonna weld it on completely and grind it down, clean it up, and have it painted to match the underbody of the vehicle like this right here. This is the finished BMC on our passenger side. Take a look at this Tundra that we're also working on. You'll see the full video of this one published tomorrow. I didn't get a chance to record the tires being mounted and balanced, but here they are. These are the 285-7017 BF Goodrich KO2s. Here you can see our tech working on the driver's side's BMC. If you want to see a full video of our body mount chop process, please check out our channel. Just search up BMC in there or click on one of the two links provided in the description. Our chops typically give you about an extra inch and a half of tire clearance. That way you have more room for alignment adjustments and full clearance at articulation. Make sure you don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. We have two accounts, one under 88 Rotors Off-Road and one under 88 Rotors for more of the car stuff. To 
This project is almost complete here. We just need to finish up the driver's side body mount shop and then the wheel and tire goes back on. We then perform our second run of quality control checks, making sure everything is torqued down properly, and then we take the vehicle out for a quick test drive. If you guys have any questions or comments about this truck, please leave them down in the comments below. We'll make sure to answer all of them as soon as we can. The owner of this truck was very cool. He drove the vehicle away for about an hour or two and gave us a call. Told us that he was super happy with the ride quality of the new King suspension. And this is pretty much going to wrap it up for this 2019 Forerunner TRD Pros video. But don't leave us yet, we have a few previews coming up for you. Here's another Forerunner that we're working on. This one's getting a cab mount shop and he's preparing for some 17 by 9 negative 12 wheels with some 295 7017 tires. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please make sure to do so. Also turn on that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of our future daily videos. If you're into the car stuff, stay tuned for this video publishing in the next few days. This is a Q60 that we added an Aerolift 3P setup on.